Hey, how's it going, guys? Sean from Team Honey Badger here. I have to bring you guys a deck for five. Procrastinated for the longest time. So, I have an update to my Victor deck post GBT06, of course. Um, I thought I'd do this one before I update it with the G Guardians and stuff like that. Um, and I'll definitely mention some changes I'll make when the G Guardians come. So, without further ado, let me actually get into it. Um, I procrastinated this one long enough. So, yeah. First of all, I play one Rune Ball. Um, Rune Ball's great. Definitely a lot of combo potential with this card being able to stand when something stands in front of it. Combos well with your um, cards that restand, such as Hank or Arborail, or cards that you want to stand, such as Suzanda. Next for triggers, we are playing four of the Victor Crit. Of course, put it to the soul, give your Vanguard plus 5k, and you draw a card, as long as it's a victor. This is supposed to be 4 Red Lightning, but my rest of my Red Lightnings are in Blouse. So, I play 4 Red Lightning, but only 2 of them are in my victor deck as of now. I hope to acquire 2 more to max it out. Next we play 4 draws. Definitely must play draws in this deck. You gotta hit all your combo pieces to make sure that you can get your plays off. And lastly, you play four heals. Of course, heals gotta heal yourself out of these troublesome situations. Uh, as you notice, I do not play stands, and that's because I believe this deck doesn't need it because it stands itself already. And that's the reason why I don't play stands. Of course, you could definitely try it out because Novas are very versatile. But I don't think stands are needed in this deck. Next for Grid 1s, we are playing for the G Perfect Guard. I know it could only protect the rear guards, but the unflipped is very crucial in this deck. Allowing you to get one extra damage, even just one. Could it allow you to extend your plays even further the following turn? Next we play 4 Stry Enablers. This of course searches out your victor and gains grade plus 2 when you're paying the cost for Shred, making it a grade 3. Next we play 3 of the new card, Miyaki. I really like Miyaki a lot. Being able to stand um, when something stands in front of it, it gains the rush skill that when it attacks, you choose 2 of your units and it gains 4k. So when you mainly put this card in front of your stand target, I mean behind your stand target. And if you put it behind Rumble, it'll hit 21 because you could choose any of your units. Definitely a neat little combo there. If you choose one of this. And lastly, we play two Claydol Mechanic just to unflip the damage and get cards back. Alright, next for the Grade 2s, we are playing four copies of Cool Hank. This, of course, is the Amber Clone for Nova Grappler. When it attacks the Vanguard, if it's boosted, you counter blast one, choose one of your rear guards, stand it, and it gains 5k. Every card that stands something in this deck gives 5k. So a lot of things are going to be hitting for higher numbers when they restand. Next, we play Four Sazanda. This is your main stand target. And I really like it a lot. Being able to gain plus 5k each time it stands and it stacks, very good. And it, that's just without even the 5k's that the cards give. So they could hit some really high numbers. Next we play 3 Alborail. This is the new card from GBT06, which is the Victor Glimmer Breath clone. So Kyle Bust 1, Soul Bust 1 when it's placed on the rear guard if you have a Vanguard or a Victor against the White Hank skill. So it can attack unboosted, which is very nice. Great card. And lastly I play 2 Starlight Hedgehog. This deck doesn't have any form of deck thinning, but this card kind of gives it a form of deck thinning. When something stands, you call it to the rear guard, and then you choose one of your units, and then when that unit stands, you get to draw a card and unflip a damage. Just another way of unflipping crucial damage in this deck, and getting able to get deeper into your deck to hopefully hit more combo pieces or just draw some extra cards when you're in a pinch. Next, we're playing for the grade threes. We're playing three copies of Muscle Shriek. You could play. Hold on, I have it right here. Crystal Devil. Um, I like Crystal Devil, but what I like with Muscle Shriek is that it can kill starters, which are very important going forward into the game because most starters are becoming OP. So that's why I like Muscle Shriek. And lastly, for the main grade 3, 
we play four copies of Victor. So Victor, for those of you who don't know, has a generation break two, where when it attacks a vanguard, choose one of your rear stand it, gains 5k. Once we get G Guardians, it's going to be easier to get this off when you can't stride. Of course, the secondary skill, when you do stride on top of it, your vanguard gains the red text ability of when it attacks, you get to counter bust one, choose one of your rear stand it, and it gains 5k. Note, it has to be used on the first attack. So you can't use it the second time you attack with your restanding stride unit. Next for the G zone, we are playing when we do Kaiser Tribrute. I rarely go into him, but when I do, it's very good. Because being able to retire two by the cost of three counter west, depending on the matchup, could be very crucial for this deck. Next to and of course, if you use Starlight Hedgehog, it could help you get back cards and on flip damage. Next we play one Vic-10. This is usually my first tread. The generic on hit. We stand something, give it 5k. Next for the big boys of the deck. I'm only playing two Meteor Kaiser Victor. That's because I do not believe that Victor pushes as hard as Victoplasma um, in this deck because of control being more relevant in my area, like such as Gears, Kagero, Link Joker. I'd much rather have um, Victoplasma to help close out my games. So that's why I only play two Victor. And as again, most of my decks are structured for what I play against on a basis or what I see. Lastly, I play four copies of Victoplasma. Definitely when we get Bastard, I'm definitely going to play four copies of Victoplasma and four copies of Bastard. I love Victoplasma and I hate him at the same time. Though he is a net one in card advantage, he definitely gets you an extra attack with the net, with a re, as a restanding stride unit to cause your opponent to guard more cards. So anyway guys, that has been my Victor deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Almost at 300 subs. Help me reach there. See you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.